Hello everybody, welcome to Filmmaking Today, Boyan Tulubik here. So, are you interested in building a miniature city out of mostly household items? Stay tuned. Alright guys, so in this episode we're gonna take mostly household items, garbage basically, stuff you usually throw away, bottles, containers, you name it, and create an awesome miniature city, shoot it, put some effects in it and after effects, and uh, light it, and uh, yeah, make it look good. So, let's get started. So these are the items I will be using to create the miniature city. As you can see, most of these are household items. This is an old Raspberry Pi that I had lying around that no longer works. Here are some Legos and random parts. And then I did buy this at a dollar store. And I also got this at a dollar store. And I got these at the dollar store as well, which are lights for your backyard, actually. I also got these lights, a set of string lights. These lights will also come in handy for sure for me to create just different types of lights, which in the end should look pretty interesting. And now it's time to put everything together. Basically, I'm just going for any kind of an interesting shape when I put a building together. I am using hot glue and that's basically it. So I'm just looking at various things, what could be interesting and just kind of lining things up, seeing what it looks like. And that's basically it. So I did this for a while. This right here will be the centerpiece, the main building when it comes to the environment. Now it's time to spray paint it. And for spray paint, I use these three colors, flat gray, metallic gray, and a rusted color. And this is what it looks like after it's been painted. And here it is in its final form. I also lined up the buildings. And now this is the final version with a little bit foliage in the middle there. And I also added all the lights needed. So there's a bunch of string lights there, LED lights going everywhere. I poked a few holes in one of the buildings so that the light can shine from the inside where I added LED lights. And when it comes to lights, I have two of these RGB lights in the back, which are used to create different colors and also a thunderstorm and that kind of stuff. And then I have this Wiltrox light as the main light right above the main building. And this is basically what the main setup looks like. And the way I'm shooting this is basically I am shooting multiple passes and then putting it together. And in order to do that, you have to have some kind of a motion control system. And for that, I'm using this setup, which is the Moza Slide Pod with the Aircross 2 on top of it. And that allows me to program in a specific path, which I can just run over and over again. And so this is what that looks like. So this is what I call the reference layer. This one I'm only using so I can track various portions of the building if I want to add anything to the building like the screen and various other things. And then here we have the beauty pass. Again, I'll be using certain segments of this. If I want to emphasize certain portions, I will be masking out certain segments. Here we have just the light pass. So this is obviously just for the lights and uh, I will be increasing or decreasing the intensity of this layer depending on what I want to achieve. And here we have the layer that uh, emphasizes the thunder and the lightning effects and that kind of stuff. Now, obviously I will be using this sparingly because I don't want this much thunder and lightning to be happening. And then this is the atmospheric layer. So with this one, you can see a little bit of a fog in the background and it just creates more of an atmosphere. Now let's take a look at what this looks like in After Effects. As you can see, there's quite a few layers over here. Down here, we've got that reference layer and the tracker, all the different passes right here. Here's the thunderstorm layers used very sparingly. Here's the screen layer over here and the sign below it. And here are the two layers for the cars. And then up here, you've got the 3D camera and the rain layer as well. And here's the final product. So that's it guys, as you can see, this is pretty, pretty sweet. Um, there's a few things to keep in mind, right? So first of all, like I said, you can really use a lot of stuff. Uh, it's all about creating um, unique shapes, right? So when it comes to buildings, it's all about creating unique shapes. 
just something that looks cool, um, that kind of stuff. Um, you definitely need to uh, spray paint it and, and add some more textured details and that kind of stuff. Um, I could have added a lot more details to this. I didn't add any windows because those, you know, it takes time and I just didn't have that much time. Um, I only worked about a week on this um, altogether. So um, the more details you add, the better it is, right? Uh, so something to keep in mind. Definitely get spray paint. Um, the, the ones I used works really nicely, especially the flat gray. It's sort of like your um, your base, right? And um, yeah, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just gonna work very nicely. And um, it's all about shooting it. Uh, you definitely wanna shoot it in different passes, right? So you will have to have some kind of a motion control system, right? Um, or just don't move the camera. Then that will be the best solution if you just have a tripod. Uh, definitely get a beauty pass, get a light pass separately, some kind of atmospheric pass and Get a reference pass if you plan on tracking things. Um, well, if it's moving, right? If the camera is moving, get a reference pass. Make sure it's lit fully uh, so you, you can actually track things. And um, yeah, you're gonna have a great time. Uh, these are This is how things used to be done in Hollywood. Um, they still are to very small degree. It's mostly in the indie filmmaking world. But um, yeah, this is how they used to do it. So. That's it guys, hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, as always, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, tell your friends, and I like good stuff, and stay tuned for more. Thanks.